All right, we're going to look at the next tool uh, for our arsenal, and we're going to look at the expand tool. So everything we've done so far, we've just been working with what's on the screen. But for our next project, where you actually get to create a vinyl sticker, we have to look a little bit deeper because of how some of the equipment actually works. So in front of you on the artboard, I have two lines and a polygon. So these lines are exactly the same, except they have a different stroke applied. This one has a stroke of 0.125 inches or an eighth of an inch. This one has a stroke of 0.625, okay, uh, which is five eighths of an inch. Other than that, these two lines are the same. Now, earlier we talked about looking at outlines. So if we go ahead and turn on our outlines with control Y, you'll notice that these lines have the same appearance because they are paths. They're just the mathematical portion of a drawing that says start at this point, go this far in this direction. Start at this point, go this far in this direction. The computer only sees these paths. When we're looking at our outlines, it shows us exactly what the computer sees. When we turn off our outlines, it lets us see what we've used to stroke over them. In this case, how thick of a brush and what color that brush is. In this case, we've got black brushes in one eighth and five eighths of an inch. The same thing happens down here with this uh, hexagon. If I click on it, it's got this path right through the center because it's got a stroke on it, um, 0.375 inches. But if I go back to my outlines, it just looks like a hexagon. There's none of the thickness to the line. So when we work through projects, especially with the Pathfinder tools, we need to make sure that we can change things from what they look like to the computer in the outline to what we see on the screen. And to do that, we're going to expand appearances. So I'm going to select this line and I'm going to go up to my object menu and I'm going to come down here and I have an object uh, option called expand. And when I click expand, it's going to give me this menu box and I have to choose. I hit OK and it appears to change a little bit. I'm not quite sure what, but now if we go back in and look at the outlines, it's changed. It's no longer a single path. It has actually changed that path to being a rectangle around the shape of the stroke. Control Y to go back to my view. Down here, we have again that same line path straight through the middle of the stroke. Object expand, hit OK. You can always use these defaults. And again, it changes it into a rectangular shape. Final thing, we can do the same thing with these kind of objects. We can go from a path by using ex object expand, again, hit OK, and it turns it into the width shape. And this is really important when we start using things like the vinyl cutter and the laser cutter, because those machines look at the mathematics behind the line, not the appearance on the screen. So when we talk about using Pathfinder and Expand, what we're saying is that anything you draw creates a single path right down the middle of an object. And in order for the machines to actually read it, we have to expand that into a sealed shape. So object expand changes it into a sealed shape, just like that. You can always double check if your objects have been expanded by pressing control Y to look at the outline view, because this is what the computer itself sees and what the machinery sees. But that's the tool you're going to need when we look at joining things together using the Pathfinder tools to work on our vinyl cuts.